Hey y'all, welcome to Crafty Wife's channel. On today's video, I'm sharing my viral berry lemonade recipe with you guys. And I'm going to show you how to start up a lemonade business or for your lemonade stand. Lemonade stand law. If your kids have been looking for a summer drink. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make my viral lemonade. It got shared all over TikTok, all over Instagram, Facebook. And it got over 20,000 shares. I had over hundreds of people ask me what the recipe was. I just want to share with you guys the recipe because I know summer's coming up and this can be a hobby for a lot of you and your kids. So I'm going to share with you guys how much I sell my bottled lemonade for. That I will be bottling up my lemonades and selling it in a food truck based in Dallas, Texas. I start off by washing my limes and my lemons. I'm using 20 lemons, 20 limes. inside but the pot that I utilize to make the bottled lemonade is way too big for my stove because I have an electric stove and it takes forever so I'm doing this outside and it's much simpler and faster to do and that way it doesn't heat up the house too much start off by washing your limes and your lemons to clean the lemons I added some white distilled vinegar in the water and rinsed them twice and you're just gonna start cutting your lemons I you also want to keep some skins we're gonna use the skins of the lemon and lime to boil into the water. This will give it so much flavor and it'll set your lemonade apart. Also, when it comes down to the stickers on each lemon, what you can do is just chop it off or you can go one by one and pick the sticker off. I'm gonna start out with four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar into my water. And I'm adding in the first cups of sugar. This is gonna make our simple syrup. Our sugary water. You're just gonna let this just simmer for about 20 minutes. You're gonna let the sugar dissolve. Now we're gonna start pressing the lemons. Before moving on to the next step, I'm going to clean up my workspace. I cannot stand when the kitchen or anywhere that I'm cooking, it's dirty. So let me just clean up a bit. Today's weather was all over the place. It was raining, but it felt so peaceful being outside cooking. Okay, so moving on to the next, you're going to need strawberries. Blend up the strawberries. Four pounds of sliced strawberries. Put in here. Add the lemon. We're going to add some raw agave. Blend this. The strawberry puree for the strawberry lemonade is ready. Now I'm going to remove all the lemon and lime peels from the sugary water. So now we're going to add the strawberry mix that we made. We're actually making two different drinks today, but I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make the same two drinks in the same one. So first we're gonna add the strawberry mix. Okay, just pour this right in. Okay, so on these I just added some diced frozen strawberries. I added about five pieces in each one. This is gonna be the strawberry lemonade drink. We're going to need this cherry berry blend that has strawberries, blueberries, pitted dark sweet cherries, and pitted red tart cherries. So we're going to add this to the blender along with the strawberry lemonade that we made. Put it into the blender. This is 
is how the berry blend looks. We're gonna add it right into our strawberry mix. So this is how the berry blend looks. You just wanna get it all mixed in together. So I'm gonna use these blueberries. I have some blackberries that I'm gonna add to the berry drinks. We're gonna add about three to each bottle. Don't worry about making a mess. We can clean that up later. Now we're gonna add a few blueberries, a few blueberries to each bottle. Once you have put the berries into your bottles, now you can just start pouring in your mix. And here's how the lemonades look. We made berry lemonade and strawberry lemonade. I do like to rinse the drinks once um, I pour them in and seal them up. So you can also put your lemonade in a pitcher and just sell it as is. The old school way, put some ice in there. I'm gonna add my blueberries here. So I added the blueberries in here. It's for the berry blend. break down the cost of the cups for packaging your lemonades so this one here is the 20 piece 12 ounce cups the plastic cups so they come in like this let me show you guys the comparisons next to a four ounce cup so this is your 12 ounce and then this is your four ounce this is the comparison next to each other you can sell these for like if a mom wants to buy her own lemonade and she just wants to give her baby just a little bottle of lemonade it's really good to have these in hand I sell these for $3.50. These are $8 each. One box of these will cost you about $17.99, so about $18 plus shipping. Um, and then it also comes with labels, or you can add your own labels. It also comes with the cleaning kit, um, depending on what pieces that you get. If you wanna purchase the 40 piece of these um, 12 ounce bottles, you will pay $31.99 plus shipping on Amazon. Um, and then also on my table cover, that I use for my lemonade stand. Like I said, that video went viral and everyone loved the setup. So I'm gonna leave below the lemonade banner and the uh, lemonade table cover on my, on my Amazon storefront. You guys can click the link there and then purchase it. It's really not expensive. The cover was around $11.95 and then you can reuse it. Every single time you guys make a lemonade stand, you can reuse it. And it just shows that you put in a lot of effort when putting up your lemonade stand you can use it year round sold every 12 ounce bottle for eight dollars and yes people did pay that price another alternative if you don't want to bottle your lemonade and sell it if it's too expensive for you you can also just have a nice pitcher and then have some ice on the side and serve your lemonade this is a small one from target you can also get one of those big ones those big pitchers with some ice in it and then it makes it look refreshing you just serve it old school in a cup in a plastic cup and you just dispose them pretty easy and you don't have to get too fancy with it. Also, a lot of you guys asked um, about setting up a lemonade. Is it legal in your area? I don't know what area you guys live in, but I am based in Dallas, Texas. Um, so in our area, it is completely legal for kids under the age of 18 um, to host a lemonade stand and sell it as long as it's on private property. You can't just go up to Walmart and go sell lemonade there. You just have to get permission. Um, but you can host a lemonade stand at a park or a private property like your front yard or your neighborhood. If you want to look more into that, you can look in your area and see, can my kids host a lemonade stand in your area? Go by that. Don't go by what I'm saying. In my area, it is completely legal, but I don't know where you guys are. I don't know where you guys live, so I just can't really tell you that it's legal for you. I know that um, 
a lot of other places like California, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado, you know, those places you do have to have a permit, sadly. But all right, you guys, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure you like the video, comment down below, and let me know if you are going to try this recipe out or if you stay around for the whole video. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified anytime I post a new video. I know I haven't been very consistent on this channel, but I'm going to start posting more recipes. Also, follow me on my social media, crafty underscore wifey on Instagram and crafty wife n on TikTok. So, see you guys there. Bye, guys.